Hey guys, it's Jamie, the running realtor. I'm here today with my preferred lender, Noelle, with Home First Lending. Hi guys. Today we're here to talk a little bit about a few different subjects, but what are the right things to do when you are on your way to purchasing a home? A lot of the people, um, a lot of the times when they're ready to purchase a home, they think that it's just saving for that down payment and having good credit, but there's a lot of in between that these lenders have to deal with and their underwriters. So um, first of all, we were gonna talk about uh, bank statements and what their bank account should look like, right? Yeah. Um, so when it comes to bank statements, I would say a couple of main things you want to be looking out for is one, you want to use an account that you have as little movement as possible. So when the underwriter is looking at your bank statement, they're looking at everything. They're looking at your deposits, they're looking at your deductions, and let's say they see a frequent deduction in there, they're going to question, well, what is this and why is it not on their credit report, but it looks like it's a monthly bill to them. Um, so as little movement as possible, preferably if you have like a savings account that you just transfer money into, that would be the best. Um, of course, if you want to use your checking account, you can. Um, another thing is large deposits. So if you have any type of large cash deposits, they want to know where it came from. You need to be able to source it. So let's say you sold a car, they might ask you for proof that you sold a car and that's how you came up with that cash. But you can't just deposit $10,000 into your bank account and expect to be able to use it because they want to know where it came from. So they also want, another topic that we've been talking about is that they also want the account to be aged, right? Or what did you season. say season? So can you explain what that yeah. means for Yeah, so people? if they do, if you guys do deposit a lot of cash that you can't explain it, I mean, all of us, we save money in our house and it's under our mattress and over time we just, we expect to be able to use it at some point. So if let's say you do plan on depositing that $5,000 that you had in cash sitting in your house, the bank is gonna want you to do something called seasoning. So they wanna see that it's been sitting in your bank account for at least 60 days, and then you can use it. Essentially proving to them that that money wasn't needed in any other way. Right. right. Okay. Whenever we ask you guys for your bank statements, we really just need the account that the funds to close would come from. So if you have six bank accounts, we don't need all of them. We literally just need the account that you plan on making your down payment and closing costs from. And it can be a combination though, if you need it to. So to make it easier, guys, make sure that you have an account that you have just sitting there, you know, don't touch it. You're already planning on moving. You're already planning on buying a home. Leave that account alone. Don't touch it. Don't transact from it. And it'll make your life easier. I promise you. And well, theirs. if you start shuffling around money too, like somebody, I had somebody once that they were like, I want to use this account. No, I want to use this account. So they like move the money here and then oh. move to here and then move to here. Well, now we need statements from all those accounts because oh. we need to be able to prove all those additional accounts, like they're gonna see the account numbers on the transfer and they're gonna to wanna to see each of them to make sure that you didn't shuffle money to this one to pretend that you had money sitting in another one, but in reality it was cash that you're then transferring back into another one. So they're gonna want the statements of any movement if you try and do that right before. Okay. That's why it's best to just just keep all your money in one you, account. So just make sure that if you ever need any help when it comes to guidance, reach out to me or reach out to Noel. We're gonna give you um, all the information you need and take care of you in every way possible. If you like any of these kind of videos, I specialize in running to search for the best deal and the right home for you. So please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on all of the wonderful homes I post about every week. This is my videographer, my son Champ Terrell. Got anything to say buddy? Are you happy to be here? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> it's a sunny, hot day, huh? We're sweating, it's hot out here.